I think we're about to make just as much money as we made back in 2021, if not even more over the next four months. Let me break it down. Watch until the end. The S&P 500 has risen over 21% in just the first three quarters of the year. The average return for the S&P 500 is between 8 and 12%, meaning you have that average of 10% year in and year out, yet we have more than doubled that. Now, if I show you the S&P 500's chart, just so you believe me to the degree that it's at, we have had six consecutive green months, now building the six month right now. To put that into perspective, the last time you saw six consecutive green months was not only back in February of 2021, and that lasted into August of 2021, but back here in 2017, from July 2017 to January of 2018. On top of that, we have elections month coming up and even Tom Lee says there is a lot of firepower supporting stocks post election. Now granted you could look at the weekly chart and you could say the spy is very very overbought and all of this other stuff but if you really just take a look at the S&P 500 we have been rallying since November of 2023. You saw multiple gap ups and then a little bit of a cool off and multiple multiple gap ups once again. Granted again after the six month period or seven month period of the S&P 500 running, you saw a very minor correction of about two to 6% and then two to 6% once again. So both scenarios, you saw that minor, minor correction. Coincidentally, right? What happened with AMC and GameStop? Well, you know what happened with AMC in the January 2021 timeframe that led from January all the way to June. AMC ripped heads off going from $12 all the way past $380, right? This is squeeze one. When the spy is doing this, it's putting immense pressure on short sellers. And coincidentally, the, the time it did it prior to that back in 2017, what did AMC do? Well, it even did this. Even as it was getting beaten into the floor, it went from about $65 to $117.50, right? So more than doubled in value just based off of the S&P 500 doing good, okay? This is just gonna lead me to say, that I'm getting ready for a very major, major squeeze. Even Bitcoin, coincidentally, you look back at the time frame of 2017, what did it do? It did something like this. You look back at the recent one, it did something like this. Now what's happening? The SPY has been so bullish, it did this, and now Bitcoin did this, and it's going for another leg up just like the S&P 500 has done this time. It actually jumped up once and now it's going for that next leg up, which means I think Bitcoin is gonna have a rally. I think altcoin season is gonna start and we're gonna make a ton of money that we have not seen since 2021. And I also, also think GameStop's chart is looking so good. It's prepping for another leg up on larger timeframes. The chart just looks very bullish. The company's health is improving. AMC, both of these heavily shorted stocks, heavily shorted companies have the most retail eyes on them as soon as any sort of volatility kicks off. And there are a lot of eyes and traders in the market now more than ever. So that's something to pay attention to as well. Also, since we're talking about GameStop really quick, there was a form for filing people are talking about. It's nothing insane to talk about. It's definitely not a bullish catalyst. I'd say it's more of a neutral catalyst. Okay. An insider sold 11,000 shares of GameStop by the name of Mark Robinson. He still has almost 44,000 shares of the company. So it's not much to pay attention to there. A couple other things I wanted to cover. Monday's Columbus Day. Stock and bond markets typically follow the federal holiday. However, the New York Stock Exchange as well as NASDAQ will operate normal hours. So pay attention to that. Your stock portfolio, your stock market portfolio will be moving. You're not going to have a three day boring weekend. So don't worry about that. Also, here is this if you want to screenshot it economic data for the week. Thursday should be the interesting day uh, that I see where some catalysts might affect the market and have some volatility. So, screenshot this if you would like. A couple other things I want to cover Boeing, once again, is not doing too hot. They are cutting 17,000 jobs or 10% of its workforce. Also something very interesting, the first president in history to launch their own cryptocurrency, Donald Trump, will be launching his crypto coin on Monday. 
So two days from now, he's launching a coin. DJT will probably do well from this coin just as a sympathy play. So let me know if you're interested in this or if you're going to have any involvement in the coin. Last but not least, China and its finance minister said not only are they going to issue 3.25 billion US dollars, right, to boost the stalling economy, but they are going to spend it over the next three months. I'm convinced that these world leaders aren't too sure what they're doing. Uh, and this just might just lead more towards a black swan event. I also want to just note, yes, there could very well be a black swan event. But right now, I think it's too early. I think we are prepping for that. We are heading for that. But we're going to see a melt up even worse. And then you're going to see an ugly year like 2022, if not even worse. So just pay attention to that. Let's make some money together. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to try and answer as much comments as I can on this video. So comment guys, let's chit chat. Also, if you're not in the discord, it's the third link in the description of the video guys, make sure to go get in. We talk stocks and crypto all day long, best vibes in there. There are no bad questions, all that good stuff. It's only a coffee a month. I post my trades as soon as I enter them. Get in guys, stop sleeping on it. Even if you're not in the in any discords, get in this one because it's cheap. Also, if you want up to 15 free stocks and earn 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash, all you have to do, press the second link, open a Moomoo account, it's a free broker, and deposit into your account. If you've opened an account through my link previously and didn't deposit, make sure to deposit so you can get up to 15 free stocks. It helps both of us out, courtesy of Moomoo, and we will be announcing something soon with them as well. So just get on their platform. They're also giving you level two order book data for free, access to trading options, going along going short, viewing other exchanges, and more as a retail trader, so that is pretty sick. As always, if you want my custom indicator, I will leave this in the link in the description as well. You can get it for two weeks for free. It's pattern detection and forecasting, so go get that, guys. That is it. Check all the links in the description. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.